welcome everyone to my happy planner January edition I guess I'm going to be planning my happy planner for January this is my planner here's to a brilliant year I've had this since August here's what my December looked like you guys are interested how my month turned out last year or last December last December um, <clears throat> I got kind of started on it late, so some of this isn't filled in, and then I kind of fell off right here. But, it's a new year, and I plan on doing a better job. So I'm going to go ahead, skip down here to January, pull out my dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out my mom. My month is titled, Be a Pineapple, Stand Tall, Wear a Crown, and Be Sweet on the Inside. Um, before I go ahead and plan my calendar, I just, I got a bit of new things over the holidays and I wanted to share that with you. So, just uh, yesterday, I got these really cute little succulent stickers from Walmart. They were actually on sale for 47 cents each. Then I also got these. They're pretty cute. Um, yeah, let me move that. Sticky notes. I wanted two of these, but I only found one because this is really not my style. However, these sticky notes, much like the ones at the Target dollar spot, are pretty inexpensive and I only paid 88 cents for them so they're really cute move those out of the way uh, recently oh let me I guess I will do these recently I guess before the holidays I went to the Dollar Tree if you have not been to the Dollar Tree for planning stuff you are missing out because sometimes they have some really cute things like these for instance I found these at the Dollar Tree and they have like a foiled sheet and then just some really cute like pineapples and cactus summer they kind of give off like a summery vibe however um, I think I might use them for January only because the pineapple theme on my planner. These are a bit raised, so those are cute. Um, some more foiled sheets. Look how cute these are for one dollar. I think they're really cute. The gold foil. And that's the end of that. Both of these were just a dollar each at the Dollar Tree. Moving on, Michaels had a sale when all of their Happy Planner stuff and their recollections items were 60% off. So I took advantage of that as well. I um, I believe I paid like a dollar sixty for these. These are like washi stickers. I have yet to try them, but I've heard good things about washi stickers. I've also got a set of sticky notes because they're the cute ones, like for my planner, and I think I paid about $1.60 for this as well. This, I think, was $1.60 for something like that. And it says washi stickers. These are kind of like, like have a matte feel where you could write on them if you wanted. But they have like a little cactus right there, which I think is cute. Some more washi stickers. I 
I'm excited about them. I like really colorful things, so when I saw them, I thought, I'm going to get them. And that's it, not bad for $1.60 or so. The last two things I got from Michaels whenever they had the sale were these, um, I went kind of like two days after the sale and everything was gone. But I did manage to get two sticker books and I got just the quotes. So I'm gonna do like a quick flip through. So they're kind of cute, you know? They were on sale and I think I ended up paying like $8 for them. So compared to $20, the normal retail value, I went ahead and got another quote book. I don't have this one exactly. I think I have the gold quotes. So it is a little bit different. And then, I got the rainbow. This is not one I have either. So I liked it because they have a lot of like the same colors. So if I wanted to do a theme month or just add a pop of color, super cute. And this one's actually the size of the happy planner, the big happy planner. So I'm excited about all of those things. The last thing that I got was, uh, or along with those um, succulent cactus sticky notes. Um, along with those succulent cactus um, little stickers I got yesterday. I was so excited because I saw somebody else's YouTube video and they had got the friction pins. And I've heard of these and I've actually had one that erases, but I thought to myself, this is exciting. I want them when I saw them at Walmart. It was $9.98 or something like that. So $10 for 10 pins, the erasable. I'm excited to see what they look like and how they write. So I guess I can open those. So it looks just like a gel pen. So I'm hoping they write nicely because I've had their clicky pins. So I'm kind of wondering how these are. They don't really have a grip, so I don't know how I'm gonna like that. But hopefully the other aspects about them will make it worth it. All right, um, my camera stopped recording and I didn't know, so I did do a little bit off of camera. Not much though, and I'm going to be continuing now. Out of my way. I'm gonna guesstimate the amount of tape that I need from this side. This tape is not being very cooperative. It is the one from the dollar store, and um, it's more papery than it is washy. And um, I did have to pick one up and readjust it, and it didn't do so well. So I don't recommend having to put this one around a lot. It was a dollar. Okay, I just dropped that piece. It was a dollar, so it's not that bad, considering most washi costs more than a dollar, unless you're buying them from like the dollar spot at Target. So I decided I am going to go with the pineapple theme. I'm going to see if I can find something really cute to take up this. So plan a happy life. I like to try to stay as positive as I can. I'm not always the best at this, but at least I admit it, right? Oh, I kind of like this sticker too that says good vibes only. Maybe I'll put it down here. Let me see. So, I did 
did go back to work on Thursday, so I'm just going to stick this little sticker there and see if I can get it at the top. Never filmed this live, so it's a learning experience for me. And you guys get to watch. So there's that. It just looks kind of like a little palm tree. I also have this one that says, let's do this. Maybe put that on Monday. So Mondays are always a little challenging. Um, I got this other little palm one. I don't know why I think like pineapples and the way that it's set up deserves like palm. This is an important date. Maybe I'll just put it on a Wednesday because I know I have something going on that day. No, I can just get it towards the top. Perfect. Super cute. Now I think I'm going to pick another color and make some of my own flags just because buying all those flags gets expensive and if you're like me, a lot of us do not purchase that many flags. Ooh, I think I'm going to use that one. If you guys take a look, I just folded the washi tape a little bit, and I'm just going to simply cut a little triangle. And when I reopen the washi tape, it's going to give me that cute little flag that I know a lot of you guys have seen other people have ooh girl these nails are not being my friend with this especially because I like getting it right we're trying to get that right on the line so there's my flags All right, so I'm back. I did a few little flags off camera, and now I'm in this book that I just got from Michaels, and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of these washi stickers. things right here like we had professional development here so I think I might put like a meeting and then today on that day we have a field trip so I'm gonna see if I have any of those stickers assembly substitute don't forget no school professional development just put that right 
right in there. It already does, so it's not a big deal. And class field trip. Yeah, yeah. There's a field trip. I don't know, because I already put a flag on that thing. Maybe I just want a sticker that says field trip. I hate this because I want to be so particular where I put this. It turned out fine. So um, before I let you go, I don't have a lot of things left to talk about, but I do want to try out my new pins, tell you how they work. So I think I'm going to go with the purple. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead and pencil in. that did a bit so now I'm gonna erase oh it's erasing um it's erasing pretty good actually you can still kind of see the imprint and a little bit of it um I'm going to go ahead and make sure this one's in the right. Pencil in our field trip. And it's at 9 a.m. Over here, I think I'm going to go with the green because it's like a greenish theme on this side. I'm going to go ahead and write first. Actually, not horrified for tomorrow. I'm excited. My friend's due date's here, but I'm not going to pencil it in. PDM to go ahead and take off. It's already filled that in. Um, maybe I can have a New Year's sticker. Every Wednesday we have planning, so I'm going to just kind of pencil in planning. These pins, um, they write okay. I like them okay. It's just this slick feature right here I'm trying to get used to. So I know we have this every Wednesday, so I'm going to go ahead and write it in there. That's not changing. Overall, these pins work pretty great. I'm just about done. I don't have a lot of other things to add. As I add them, I guess next month you'll see the finished product, like how my month went. Overall, these pins write pretty well. They do erase pretty well. Um, I think they're a good investment if you have poor handwriting or you just want that flexibility to erase and you don't want to use sticky notes. I'm a sticky note person. I always have them with me in my planner. I like keeping them. Um, but this is my happy planner planning video. 
If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments or thoughts or you're like, hey, that looks really good or I think you could have did this better, you can leave that down below. If you have a channel and you have Happy Planner videos, let me know. I'd like to check it out. I'm always getting better. I've only started this in August. Overall, I hope you guys have a fabulous January and a happy new year. See you next month. Bye.